Hello everyone, it's Tyler with Diesel Laptops back at you again, talking about the Truck Global Scan 3, or the TGS3, as we'll call it going forward. So I'm going to click the button to start the TGS3 scan. And what this scan will do is it will connect to the vehicle, and it will attempt to figure out every single computer that's on it. It'll try to figure out what year it is, and it'll try to figure out if there's active or inactive codes. So it sounds like something really simple in the beginning, but it's actually something fairly complicated because it does take a little bit of um, a little bit of patience to try to figure out what it's doing. There's tons and tons and tons of variations and options that exist out there for these things. So as we get, it says wait for device initializing. We're just gonna wait here a second and we'll be connected here just briefly. And we'll actually pause it for one second while we wait. All right, so now that we unpaused it, we're back again. And you'll find that we now have some red X's, a green box, and a yellow box in the upper left. The red simply means that it does not see it. The green means it sees the computer, but no codes. Yellow means it sees the computer, but there are codes. So I hit the DTC's detected button, and it breaks it down a little bit further for us. So now we're seeing these things like PIDs and SIDs and DTCs and all these other things. And these are kind of the, the generic J1939, J1708 codes that you would see with the handheld scanner. And again, this tool is designed just to give us the quick and easy, nothing too complicated. Uh, and where this vehicle is a little different, it has J1939 and J1708 on it. So this ECM is just a little bit different than most that you typically run across. But as you can see, at least you could have all the codes here. In the bottom right, if I wanted to, I could click this and I could actually clear all the codes. Uh, over on the left hand side, if I wanted to print them, I could hit the print button and do that as well. But let's go actually try to dive down maybe a little bit into one of these codes and see what we can do. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click the little ECU button and I'm going to connect directly to the ECM. And again, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. All right, so now we're back, we're connected to the ECM, and here we go, we have all of our codes. Now that they're showing up properly, I can double click them, and besides getting that PID and FMI, I actually get the actual flash code now, so I can actually do something with it. So I just wanted to show to you how the TSG3 works. It's a great quick tool to hook up, connect, get your information. Uh, just obviously, once you find your codes or ECU you wanna dive into, don't try to troubleshoot from that TSG3 screen, just troubleshoot once you're connected to the ECM as we just did here. So that's the quick and dirty on the TGS3 scan. Thank you very much for watching.